I'm here with Timothy Lee, the Chief Information Officer of Realty Mogul, who's here to talk to us about his real estate crowdfunding company. Welcome. Thank you, Deb. So real estate crowdfunding has been taking off in the last few years. Can you tell me what's the attraction? Well, the attraction, first and foremost, is we essentially de democratize the way you will invest in real estate. Um, three years ago, before the Jobs Act, it was not possible for somebody to go, on, go online and pitch in five, ten, twenty thousand dollars into a real commercial uh, uh, property deal as a passive investor. Uh, after the Jobs Act, it made it easier for us to raise equity money uh, online uh, to facil facilitate numbers of uh, commercial real estate transactions. Um, we made it easy. We made it transparent, and uh, individuals can invest in actual properties as opposed to a pool of um, properties within the REIT. So how does Realty Mogul work? Well, Realty Mogul is an online platform um, uh, that caters to passive and active investors. A uh, retail investor, a passive investor, go online and choose uh, from a variety of different property types. We, we have multifamily, uh, student housing, office space, retail centers for people to choose from. And it's really easy to invest. Um, you can pitch in as little as $5,000 um, and you own a real piece of uh, real estate. We make, the tr we make the process very easy and fast and transparent. You can go online, make an investment, track your portfolio performance, and we send you all the paperwork you will need and we take care of all the back in process. On top of it all, uh, we pull all the investors together behind a uh, LLC and we negotiate on your behalf with all the rights uh, a real property owner would have. Um, so it protects the crowd and also gives us control over the property property's performance. So tell me about the technology on your platform and how does that uh, democratize the real estate market in your view? Yeah, that's a great question. The, the, the technology that we use is, is, is fascinating. Um, there are tons of data out there on commercial real estate, uh, anywhere from um, tracking rental performance uh, to sales records and things of that nature. And we pull all those data together and make the best decision we can possibly make. Uh, data side, uh, we have some of the best uh, commercial real estate underwriters uh, in the country working uh, for Realty Mogul. Our chief credit officer has tons of experience at JPMorgan Chase. Um, and we have uh, tons of people at RealtyMogul.com that has uh, many, many years of real estate and finance experience. Um, the technology um, is, uh, is, is a combination of big data, marketing, online marketing technology, and uh, a really fascinating uh, crowdfunding platform technology that we build in-house. Um, it it allows us to uh, uh, get the crowd together, distribute the funds, manage the assets, um, and keep track of all the transactions. And you can log in anytime and look at your perform portfolio performance. Um, and track it uh, online. For property owners, what is the advantage of going to a real estate crowdfunding site versus a traditional lender? Right. Um, the, the property owners or the sponsors uh, uh, has a great advantage of coming to Realty Mogul, and that's what RealtyMogul.com is. Uh, it's really uh, different from banks and traditional lenders. What we do is we do full stack uh, fin financing, and what that really means is that we will uh, raise the equity portion of the uh, the, uh, the commercial deal on your behalf, on the property owner's behalf. Um, and we will also give you uh, access to debt. So you come to us with um, a small percentage of the equity, um, maybe 2 3%, and we will raise the additional 98%. Part of that is equity that we will raise from the crowd, and the other part is uh, debt that we will hook you up with the institutional buyer. So you get the whole service uh, in one stop. And for investors, you know, what kind of return could they reasonably expect as well as what kind of risks are they undertaking in terms of right. the default rate of the properties? Right. That's a great question. Um, the Most of our deals are equity deals. Uh, these are pref equity, mezzanine loans. Um, uh, let me start over. Most of our deals are equity deals. Um, there are pref equity deals and also JV equity deals. These equity deals are essentially down payments in terms of a, a single family uh, home mortgage. Um, high risk, but it does uh, 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 have the potential to, to give you a high return. Um, typically and historically, we've, uh, we've seen anywhere from um, averaging of a 6 to 12 percent, maybe even higher, um, on our equity deals. And these deals are, tend to be two to three year hold. 
and um, on the on the out on the exit, the owner could choose to uh, either sell the property or refinance um, our deal out, so to speak. Um, the the other component of a equity investment is that you also get a cash ca cash cash on cash return, and what that means is. Uh, the rent that you would collect on this property, you also get a uh, distribution on a quarterly basis uh, as a um, as a cash flow cash flowing um, uh, return on the uh, investment. So, what kind of properties do you invest in? Anything that is uh, not single family homes. So, we're talking about hundreds of units of um, multifamily apartments, retail centers, uh, office space, senior housing, student housing. Um, or even um, storage units. So we invest everything in um, in around commercial real estate type of properties. So how are you different from a REIT? Mm -hmm. The biggest difference is RealtyMobile.com offers um, full transparency. You know exactly what which property you're going to be investing in. Uh, so you see the property. It will give you all the glory details about the property, the performance, and the management team. Um, versus a REIT, REIT is more of a blind pool of funds, right? You put your money in, you don't necessarily know which property, what kind of property is going into, um, and it's hard to get your money out in a REIT. Uh, with with RealtyMogul.com product, you know exactly what it is that you're investing in. You are a true owner of that property, and you get your money out in two, three years. So the real estate crowdfunding market is getting very, very crowded. How are you standing out? The way we stand out is building trust, transparency, and um, have develop a special relationship with our investors. Um, these retail investors come to us um, with their hard-earned money. They're, these are doctors, software engineers, uh, partners of their firms, and we want to take care of their investment. Um, one of our uh, guiding principles is investor protection. Everything we do is around investor, investor protection. Um, the, the, I believe the only way that we can, we're going to stand out is protect our investors, make the right investment, um, provide the right returns for our investors, and, um, and don't bet on things that we don't believe in. Do you see a shakeout coming? I really don't see a shakeout. Um, in many ways, this industry is brand new. We've only been around for two and a half years, and so does many of our competitors. Uh, we're, we're just in the early innings of this game. Um, uh, Truth be told, all of the uh, legislations and uh, laws are still being developed and vetted out by the SEC and the Congress. Um, uh, as, as soon as tomorrow, there's a new piece of legislation will will allow non-accredited investors to start investing in these uh, crowdfunding platforms. So everything's brand new to us, and we are constantly uh, analyzing what's coming down the pike uh, as far as uh, regulation goes. And um, I, I really don't see a shakeout anytime soon. It's just, it's, it's fascinating to see how the industry is, it's just starting to, to, to take off. Most of the deals that you guys have done are on equity financing side versus debt. Is there a reason for that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's easy to get a mortgage. Let's just use the, uh, the Signal Family Home as an example. Uh, you can waltz into any big banks at Wells Fargo or Chase and get a mortgage if you have the down payment. But it's hard to get the down payment. You have to save, you have to, um, you, you have to save for that 20%, if you will. Um, a lot of the sponsors of property owners don't have that kind of cash laying around. They're spread pretty thin, or they don't want to use their cash. Um, so that's where we come in. And that's why you see a lot of equity deals, a lot of down payment deals, if you will. Um, they come in with 2%, we come in with 18%. Both of us go to the bank with our 20%, and we buy the property and get the mortgage. So you see a lot more equity deals than debt deals. Um, and the other aspects of it is that equity deals does typically, on average, give you a better return. Um, you are the true owner of the property. You get, again, cash on cash, uh, rent money. And also on the out, if the property performs, so you bought it for a million, you sold it for 1.5, you get the additional profit distributed uh, proportionally. And can you talk about some of the tax implications of that? Yes, there's a, uh, um, we, 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 it's tax season. So right now we're processing K-1s for our, our investors. Um, the, the, what's, what's interesting right now is that Realty Mogul just launched a brand new product, it's a 1031 exchange uh, uh, platform, uh, where there's a whole lot of benefits in, uh, in a 1031 exchange. So what that really means is that if you, um, if you have a property uh, and you want to reinvest that money to avoid, ca uh, to avoid capital gains tax, uh, you can roll that into a Delaware Statutory Trust, or DST, 1031 property. 
And what that really means is that you can take the profit, spread them into one or multiple properties, and keep on growing your money without paying uh, uh, capital, capital gains tax right off the bat. Um, so there are, there are tons of benefits. And even, even on a common equity or JV equity deal, um, you could depreciate the property just like you would buying a, a, a single family investment home uh, on your tax returns. So there's numbers of uh, benefits. And on top of it all, it's just good to have an investment, uh, commercial real estate portion of your investment, sorry, portion of your investment in commercial real estate. So what's next for your company? We're growing really fast. Um, we closed our Series B funding in July of 2015 of $35 million. In total, we raised close to $42 million in the past two years. We're poised to grow. Um, we have over 70 employees uh, nationwide. We have, we have offices in San Francisco, New York, uh, LA, and uh, Atlanta and Houston. We're growing. Um, we are putting more and more uh, properties and products on our platform. We've been attracting hundreds of thousands of investors um, on, a, on a monthly basis. Uh, so far, there are 73,000 uh, members at realtymogul.com constantly looking for deals and making investments. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for the opportunity.